Hello and welcome to our weekly update and feeding of our coon bin. And these guys have been happily munching away on the corn that I put in there. I think they're satisfied with their feedings. They're not climbing. And I really want to see some cocoons. Lately, I haven't been very good at spotting them. Not like before. Maybe I have to just kind of slow down and carefully look through the castings. Because there's basically plenty of uh, mature worms. I think the, the majority of them are by now. The castings are looking good. We're getting to that point close to uh, where I'd like to harvest. Now this is my 10 gallon bin. And I only use now these bins for little experiments that we do in our Facebook page group, experimental worm bins. And normally I like to use the larger bins, the 45 gallon, the 30 gallon, 14 gallon, uh, so that my worms have plenty of space to reproduce and grow to a larger size as they tend to not grow as big if you keep them in a smaller bin. At least that's been my observation. So this is the corn and look at how, how they picked it all clean from last week. And I can see some babies here. I mean, these guys definitely didn't hatch too long ago. So, hmm, where are my cocoons? Cocoons, cocoons, cocoons. Not sure. But anyway, the castings are looking great. Really, really nice. And the worms are fat and juicy. And I think this is where we fed. Yeah, you can see that a lot of them are here. Oh yeah. Definitely the majority, the majority uh, of the worms are here and the food is gone. Great, because today I've decided to give them a bit of a larger feeding and I'm going to give them a pound and see how they handle that. Now I'm not worried. They have not disappointed me so far. So we'll give them, again, a nice helping of fruit. In this case, it's mangoes, mango skins to be exact. And I added the eggshells. Grapes here too. Okay. 
And whatever initial smell there is, once you cover it up with the bedding, it all disappears. Make sure you cover that up really well. My husband is taking me on a two week cruise. So I'm going to be away starting on the 9th. I'm going to be away for two weeks. And I'll tell ya, I'm having nightmares already about all the things that can go wrong when I am away from my babies. But they should be fine. They should be perfectly okay. And this is it for this week. Thanks for joining me. See you next week.